can't see. Hey, I got a runner out of the vehicle. Uh, she's heading back towards the main drag. There's an advantage to being a deputy U.S. Marshal and getting out of your vehicle knowing that you're going to go arrest somebody for a bank robbery warrant or a murder warrant. With these missing child cases, emotions are obviously even more involved. I'm not saying that they're not in other crimes or other things that we do, but we have to be able to approach these in a different manner. And we have to be prepared for the worst thing to happen, but we also have to put a different hat on, a different face, um, to help these families get the help that they need. I have a daughter the same age as you. So that just shows you how important it is. Currently right now in the United States of America, there's over 900,000 missing persons. This is a really big problem. And so by starting with an operation like this, I commend the Marshal Service for launching such a thing because it's really taking off. It's really getting a lot of steam underneath of it. And the more kids that we can rescue, great. If we'd have walked away with one rescue, it was a worthful operation in my book. It really was. When a child goes missing, the first call is typically to local law enforcement. And then hopefully the second call is to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. We aggregate the information and determine what are the best resources to apply. We're lucky enough to have partnerships with several local, state, and federal agencies, one of which is the U.S. Marshal Service. I want people to know that the Marshal Service is there to work the missing child mission. Where I sit here, yeah, headquarters. I'm the Marshal Service liaison to Nick Mick. You guys are welcome to reach out to us directly or go through the case manager. The case manager has a form that they use to reach out to us to ask us for assistance. We can use any resources that we use towards finding fugitives. We can put those towards missing child cases. So as you guys know, we're really good at hunting down fugitives. We're putting that towards finding missing children. It is not something that we are known for. I am fortunate enough to be able to provide a lot of training to different uh, law enforcement agencies. And a lot of times they had no idea that the U.S. Marshals were able to help them in finding missing children. There's federal, there's state, there's local, and there's a little bit of representation from all located in the command center. We can put all that together to find and build some solid leads for the folks that are outside of this building, outside of the central command, to actually go and follow up, go knock on some doors, go ask some questions. She's right in front of my unit. Okay. So imagine being a 14 year old child that runs away. At a certain point, you need to eat, you need shelter, and you probably don't have your birth certificate or an ID in order to get a job. So what's the, what's the way that they're gonna make money? It's by selling their body. And unfortunately that just becomes a cycle because it's, income for them to be able to that, that they can use to be able to survive but that's trafficking that's them being exploited she looks underage as we've been going along with these cases we found out that a lot of the agencies that handle these cases the local pds are overwhelmed with these type of cases and they're, they've been very receptive for the marshal service to come into system and provide what resources we can to help locate and recover these kids Missing children don't always stay in the jurisdiction where they go missing. And so having a partner that's national, having a partner that has resources and capabilities, and then leveraging our own is all with the mission focus on recovering those children. It's working together for the singular goal of the recovery of that child. You know, a lot of people ask, why do you do it? It's so dangerous. Yes, it is, but somebody has to do it. I mean, that's all we want, it's, it's these kids to, to succeed and have the opportunity given to them to succeed. Another success, aside from finding over 200 missing children, was the relationships that we built. And there are people out there that care and that want to try to make a difference in this child's life.